What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fowler, the man, Eric. <laughs> so, so typical. I started to say Sheets' his name. It's just a, just a habit, Rody. It's been a week with us, and this is what happens. We haven't, we haven't seen each other for a week, so of course, that's why I'm coming after you. Um, all right, my man, Jake Rody. We're going to be talking through Sunday's Week 9 slate. Um, really disappointed we can't get that that uh, overseas game on the slate because it would be fun to, to, to go with the Dolphins and, and Chiefs here. But there's some good games, and... As usual, as we're starting to notice, not a lot of really large totals. I mean, there was a while ago, a few years, where every single, like, every slate, it felt like there was, like, three or four totals, at least at 50 or more. I think we've had, like, one or two the whole season on the main slates. The other slates, we've had them for, like, Monday night and, you know, Sunday night game with Cincinnati, Buffalo will be like that. But it's just weird. Like, it's just we don't get that crazy, that the, the crazy ones anymore. So how are you doing, Rody? Any overall thoughts before we jump into position by position and share your screen? Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, a little under the weather today, so my voice is a little odd. Um, but I also think with these totals of the these higher totals, there there was a year where we had a lot of higher totals, and I think the unders were constantly hitting because of the clock. Now, doesn't the clock always run? Even yeah. when you go out of bounds, it runs still. You know, nonsense. Yeah. So like the games are just kind of going faster. The teams are dragging out the. <laughs> The play clocks a little bit. They're kind of burning the clock, or you, or you could be like my Chargers, where they just like, hey, we're up by twenty. We should probably just slow down, you know. Yeah. So like, and then oh shit, the team's coming back, you know. Like, yeah. well, duh, you stop scoring and let the other team come back, you idiots. So like, there's been a lot of these comeback games this year, you know. The Packers lost one where they took the foot off the pedal. Falcons come back and beat them, you know. So yeah. There's a lot of that going on, so I'll share the screen and we'll get into it here, guys. I just got to figure out what screen. All right, boom, and I got to move the, this over. There we go. We're kind of in there. So a lot of things to consider on on this slate. Um, just just in terms of like when we start talking about quarterbacks, like there's not there's a lot of good like a lot of interesting games that are like you know you got obviously Dallas and 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 Philly in the afternoon, which is super you know a huge game and everything. But in the Ravens and Seahawks, I'm really surprised by the total in this game. I thought that one and the and the, the Eagles game would both we both see near 50s. And um, anyway, I, I'm going to be all over the Ravens and Seahawks as of right now. I have Lamar as the number one quarterback of the week. I have Jalen Hurts as the number two quarterback of the week. And I have Geno Smith as a ter terrific tournament play. And I have Dak as the other guy I'm spending for. Then you get into these weird guys that I just want to talk talk my way through a little bit. Um, I like the idea. Okay, so O'Connell is forty five hundred. I think it's worth taking a little bit of a gamble. Um, I'll probably I'll probably you know go for it. Um, Bryce Young. Bryce Young looked really good last week uh, in real life, and I think you're going to start seeing a jump. And I just want to attack these indie games when they're in indie every time I get the chance because. It, indie just the games just always seem to go a little a little wild these days. So those are my uh, my main ones. Those you know the first ones I mentioned are my main guys. These are my spend down the O'Connell, Bryce, and uh, potentially I guess you know like I, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide what to do. Like it's weird. I'm looking at projections and Josh Dobbs is still projecting for Arizona. So I really don't understand. Well, actually no, he's gone to the other side. He's yeah, they just got him on the wrong team. Um, so. Look, I'm probably going to get a little more inv invested in five quarterbacks, but as of right now, I have Hurts, Lamar, Dak, and uh, some O'Connell and Bryce Young right now. How about you? Yeah, I like a lot of those same guys. You know, these cheap guys are going to be – this looks like it might be a good week for the cheap guys. I mean, we do have, you know, Dak <clears throat> at 6,500 is all right, but you have Jalen Hurts and Lamar Jackson, two running quarterbacks this week. Hurts is obviously not in a very good matchup. You got – um, Lamar in a really it's good not matchup. True. I actually would say that's a plus matchup for him. Yeah, he probably scramble a little bit more. Yeah, but I mean Dallas's defense has been blown up a little bit, and then they've like smashed. So it's like you get yeah. they're kind of boomer busty. They're more like some high their whole team guys. is. It's, it's crazy. It, it's been crazy to watch Dallas. Like they look like a great team one time, and the next week they're like, oh, back to reality type. Thing. They're like the next level version of the Chargers is what they are. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the better version of the Chargers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm gonna probably stick with the quarterbacks you like um, this week as well. Um, you know, Jordan loves the guy I've been on. I I feel like he's had a couple of good games, and then he's just never 
showed up again. So 5,500, but I'll probably play a lot of the 4,500 Aiden O'Connell. He's been playing a good matchup. You know, he wants to show him what they got, what he's got. You know, he's got good weapons. I think they fired their coaches because, hey, let's not throw to Devontae Adams or Jacoby Myers. Why Why would we have a game plan where we do that? And then he got fired the next couple days or day later, whatever. Yeah. It's like, you know, you're not going to win not throwing it to your best players. You know, one one target in the beginning, first half and zero for the other guy. You know, what the hell, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't mind taking a shot there, 4,500. Bryce Young, that any game is at uh, the Colts, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh no no it's not it's I've got it I've got it I've got it backwards you're right actually. I got it backwards too I thought it was at Colts from how they have it here no it's not it at, yeah my bad my bad oh that's weird uh, yeah it was it was it's weird I have another screen that had the opposite yeah we had the same thing last week so never yeah, so, so I still think a little bit though yeah, yeah so ahead. really there's only like a, the the Vegas dome game right or the inside game mm-hmm. really yeah all right yeah, yeah so I mean I, New Orleans is indoors what which one Oh, he was, yeah, I didn't see that here. My bad. Um, which we probably might like CJ Stroud at 6,200 a little bit too. Mm-hmm. He's not getting too much ownership. I'll probably play some of him, um, some Aiden O'Connell, and then target some of the dome games and then maybe grab a little bit of Lamar. He's been kind of hot. I've been off him this year, but I might might get on him a little bit more. What what are what are your thoughts on it? I'm just gonna mention something because there's there's a lot of speculation about this Desmond Ritter, unless something happened in the last hour or so that I don't know of anybody being confirmed. Oh, Heineke. Whether it'll be Ritter or Heineke. And I actually think it is, it is, it does matter. I know they're in a low total, but their receivers are so cheap. Um I don't know. I, I you know, you know what? No, actually, you know what? Let me let me let, let me skip, skip skip through that one. I, I just feel like the, the receivers receiving that stood out to me for value were like basically, obviously Drake London and you can always play Pitts, and it is still Minnesota and they're, they are in a dome in Atlanta, but I don't know who the oh, quarterback yeah, is. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah. It's Atlanta. And, and then I, I like, I think the Houston thing also um, Houston. I mean, like you mentioned Houston also in a dome, uh, they're playing against the, you know, basically a pass funnel defense to, to the second most pass funnel, even though they're not officially, they, that's historically the last five years Tampa Bay has been, you don't run the ball on them. You throw the ball and you've got all cheap, you know, all the guys who were all chalky last week uh, without Robert Woods are not going to be as owned this week. They still have some ownership, but Nico Collins, Tank Dell, Noah Brown. I think that game could be an interesting one also to look at. I forgot, to, I forgot to throw that one in there. I, I agree with your take about Stroud. I think I should have, should have written Stroud down, which I will now. Yeah. Well, we got off to a little bit of a slow start. So, Rody, why don't you start us off running back and who you like this week? Yeah, it's was, it was a little slow start, but hell, we got all these quarterbacks. They're all cheap quarterbacks this week. It's kind of I know. Nuts. It's a weird week. A very weird week. Very weird week. Um, obviously, uh, running back, you know, Kamara's getting the price up. He's been very good. Um, getting a lot of work, a lot of work. Josh Jacobs has not had a real good couple games. He did get the touchdown early last week, but his price is dropping a little bit. I like that. Tony Pollard's price is dropping a little bit. I know that's a good matchup there, but if he was chalky last week, yeah, I guess he's chalky this week. Um, You do have um my man Aaron Jones. He's got to get back in this game, Um, help us out. Gus Edwards, a guy I got on a little bit late last week, worked out for me in a decent decent run matchup this week and not getting any ownership at 5,900. But it, it's kind of Lamar runs. He doesn't get a lot of – like. A lot of work, so maybe it's not a great play. I'm mean, just lower on though. Damian Pierce, a guy we keep chasing, does nothing. He's very low on this week, though. But the thing is, Chubba Hubbard last week, Damian Pierce, all these cheap guys we were kind of on last week, guys, they got to the goal line. I mean, Chubba could have had two touchdowns on the goal line. I mean, it just mm-hmm. the guys weren't getting in. Pierce got one called back on them. So, like, mm-hmm. One of these cheap running backs, I keep we keep calling these guys out every week, and they're one of them's gonna score, you know, and then someone trolls us and gets the touchdown. You know, you got the work with Ford and Kareem Hunt here. Both cheap guys in a great running matchup, to be honest with you. This is a great matchup for Cleveland run. Neither are gonna be really owned. I mean, Ford's gonna be owned more, but no reason Kareem can't get in there. So if you're MME and guys, this is a great week for running back MME. But like my main lineups are probably gonna have some of these higher running backs in. Um, you know, little Kenneth Walker against Baltimore. He's a little bit priced up, low on though. So, yeah. I mean, I, I take some shots on these lower on guys, but I, I mean, I always really like Kamara. He's he's been my favorite back. I've been playing him a lot this year, so kind of a guy I'm on this week. Yeah. Um, 
I, I get the Kamara. I actually like Saquon um, as a pivot if if he if he does play. Um, and I think that he's actually going to be a fairly low on pivot because of the Q tag more than the projections currently have. So I actually have, I, I like the lower, I mean, look, we're, we're going to have money to spend somewhere because I like some of these cheaper guys. Um, they're not super cheap, but I am going to go right back and keep doing the Jonathan Taylor thing every week. That's just what I'm going to do. And by the way, it was the right thing to do last week. He had the first, what, 12 carries or 10 carries for like 90 yards. And then two goal lines, they give it to Moss and then Moss break one, breaks one later on. I'm like, uh, okay, I'm not going to, that's not going to stop me from playing uh, Jonathan Taylor. It's going to go back to him soon. Chubba Hubbard should be really big chalk this week. And uh, I like it. Uh, you know, my non-Bryce you know, lineups, I'm going to have plenty of Chubba Hubbard. Uh, Ramondre, I think is interesting. I like Bijan uh, Robinson. I like Swift. Uh, I'm just sort of in that, in that, you know, I guess five to 6,800 range. And I don't, I don't feel like you're getting a huge advantage by playing. I mean, maybe Kamara has the big 30 point week, but they have other ways to score and they have a lot of stuff going on. So I'm not going to be as maybe high on Kamara if, if he does end up super chalky. I'm going to be more on these, you know, the Hubbards. I, I'm lower on Josh Jacobs than others are going to be, but I'm going to, I'm going to like consider it just because I like the price and I like the matchup. But mostly it'll be my favorites are, are Pollard, who's let us down plenty of times, but I don't, I think we do it again. Taylor. And then uh, the cheap ones, Hubbard, Ramondre, then Bijan, and I forgot to mention DeAndre Swift. Um, those are the main guys I'm using this week. Let's move yep. over to receiver. Uh, I'll jump in here. Yep. <sighs> Demario Douglas is going to pop projections-wise, so will Noah Brown. I I'm into playing at least one of the Houston receivers in, in most of my lineups at the moment. I also think that playing, even though I'm not quite as high on Howell, maybe I should reconsider it. It is in New England, but you have three receipts. You know, again, they're throwing the ball a lot. So I, I would say McLaurin is another one that I'm interested in. Um, I don't know what I want to do because, the, the, as usual, the Giants receivers project well, and the matchup is so good that I kind of want to gamble if there's any if anything I can dig up that who O'Connell might have a connection with or something like that. I'm oh, sorry, O'Donnell might have – yeah, O'Connell um, might have a connection with. Because I, I, I would love to try to find something for one of these cheap guys, but – Getting back to the to the to the more typical plays, uh, McLaurin I guess is one of those. But AJ Brown is going to be monstrously owned. He's awesome every week, and every week I say the same thing, and I'm going to say it again this week. I still think Devonte Smith. And by the way, Smith had a good week last week too. Um, I believe he was on the Millionaire Maker on Fanduel. Maybe um, I like Devonte Smith a lot. Uh, like I, I do like the AJ Brown, but I, I think that you, you could play with both of them possibly uh, because we have some money to spend. I think Chris Olave is a really good play. Adam Thielen's price has gone all the way up to 7,500 and he's still going to be popular. I'm okay with it. I just don't like love it. I think that Philly will do a good job trying to stop CD and force other people to beat them, which is going to lead me more to like it's the secondary receivers for Dallas. Um, but that's sort of my main thing is the Houston guys, Collins, Dell, and Brown playing at least one of them. McLaurin, uh, Devontae Smith, AJ Brown. Uh, those, those are sort of like my, my core-ish guys. I haven't written my cores out because it's kind of a weird weekend. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, then you're going to have DJ Moore at 5,900 in a game where they're going to have to throw the ball a lot. I think DJ Moore is a really strong play. And, uh, as always, Zay Flowers. And, uh, I'm probably, I probably have to, to, to play a little bit of CD. I just didn't want to play the chalk CD at 8,200 here. Um, and then you've got Cooper Cup also looking like a good play, but I, I just think I'm going to stick more with that. It's weird. I, I'm going to have some room to spend on a couple of giant spend ups, but everybody else, like, I, I just like this, this, you know, five to 6,500 range on this slate. Yeah. I really like the spend ups at running back that we talked about a couple of those guys. So maybe, or, or grabbing one of these elite receivers like AJ Brown. Man, I should have double stacked him in my main hurts and AJ Brown and Smith last week. I would have been fine. I had the Smith Goddard stack with Goddard. Oh, Smith. me too. I had the Brown Goddard and the Smith Goddard. Yeah. So. I didn't have the dog. And last year I played a lot of double stacking the one, two receivers. And I just, I haven't done that a lot this year. So um, it's been much harder to do this year. I have to say, Somewhere yeah, like so you have I've, to really get thin on some positions. I've been doing a lot of receiver tight end type stacks and some other things. So um, another couple of receivers we, we talk about, I mean, I know you talked about DJ Moore. I didn't realize he was in a dome game um, mm -hmm. as well. I forgot to mention that, that the saints are the dome game as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, that that's a play I like. He's real cheap. Zay Flowers busted on everybody last week. 
Looks like he's going to get some ownership this week, but he's in another good matchup. Jordan Addison, he's been playing really well for the Vikings. Obviously, they got a bunch of issues there. Um, but you know, someone's going to have to do something in this game. We talked in the dome, um, there, so you know, you could you could play some guys in that game. Um, Jacoby Myers, a guy that I'm, I've been high on all year. He's done well, but they got a new quarterback throwing him. But we like stacking O'Connell, so we got to pair him with Myers or Adams in this game. I I think. Um, so I'm going to be on those guys as well. Maybe even that's the double stack that we do because it is kind of cheap where we could get both of them in. Mm-hmm. We got some money to spend this week. <clears throat> Man. Remember when you I was that? telling you pre-show? Freaking uh, I, I can make you, I can help. I, 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 I can make it so you don't have to talk as much if you want because I feel bad for you, man. No, no, no. I I, I just flipped on the, the freaking Steelers game, man. And oh. I was telling you, I like that Najee lineup for my main lineup today. That I built, I built one. I added sure? adding a lineup that I really liked. It's Najee with the double kicker. Yeah. Well, Najee just scored, so yeah, uh, that's not gonna be great for me. All right, well, let's keep. Let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's keep it flowing. We got to get through this quick. Um, yeah, so we like this Houston game too. Godwin's up there. Evans is up there price wise, but I mean, we got. I like running it back with one of them. Um, in that game or Rashad White, I guess. But um, Josh Downs, a guy we talk about, no one plays him any week. He keeps doing really well. Fifty is priced up to fifty two hundred, but still viable. Michael Thomas price keeps going down. He's another guy we can use for the Saints in that game as well. It's at the Saints, so that's good. Tank Dell pair with their Houston stacks. Watson's even priced down a little bit more. I mean, he he got missed a few times last week. I think he's due for a big game eventually here. Um. So yeah, I mean, a lot of these guys are questionable. So check us out on on Sunday, guys, and we'll get the and we'll get everybody you know that's injured and questionable, and we'll figure it out on Sunday at eleven, guys. So check us out there. We'll have our stacks finalized. This is going to be a weird week. I think targeting some of the dome games is what I want to do. And you mentioned, I mentioned a lot of dome receivers, a lot of dome running backs this week. I'm kind of probably going to target some of those games this week as I really like those games. So, um, all right, well, let's, let's move over to, uh, to tight end. I'm, I'm going to throw out real quickly again. I, just, I, I forgot to mention it before. I think the Seattle receivers as run backs with Lamar are, are definitely a way to go too. Yeah, shoot. I forgot that I, I, I missted them. 6,900 DK. Lock it at 6,200. I like both those prices. Not yeah. getting a lot of ownership either. So that's not a, not a, when it, I did say Lamar would be a quarterback. I'd be on this week. So I think stacking one of those guys as a bring back is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a very decided small group of, of tight ends that I'm playing. So I'll, I'll jump into that one. Maybe you can, you can shine some light on a few other guys because I, I t- TJ Hawkinson is it's just too good a spot, too cheap. Uh, absolutely going to have TJ Hawkinson a, a bunch. Um, I will have Ferguson as my preferred, I, as of right now, he's my my biggest spend down at the moment. Uh, Ferguson, Dallas Goddard in the same game. And someone is going to have to explain to me, so this is, this is probably what I'm going to do with some of my money. Why is Mark Andrews going to be less than 5% owned on this slate? If that's actually the case, I think you just sit, you suck it up and you can double tight end Andrews and, and Hawkinson because they have enough, they can put up like, you know, huge receiver type scores. I just think it's a big mistake for this week for have Andrews this low owned. So I will be very, very heavy on Andrews. So those are my guys, Andrews, Hawkinson, Ferguson, and Goddard. I am not going to fall. I believe in Trey McBride's talent I, with a, with a who knows who's playing quarterback against the best defense in the NFL. I am not going to fall for that shock. That just seems like really, really foolish shock in my opinion. Yeah, um, I, I like those calls. I've been on this Goddard cheap at 4,800 is another guy I'm going to be on again probably. Mark Andrews is a guy that I, I have been stacking Lamar a little bit with him. So definitely lower-owned guys I like. Um, McBride's 3,700. He's not getting a ton of ownership, but, you know, for Ferguson here as well. A couple of these guys in some of these games that we like will probably stack. I usually stack my QB with a receiver with a tight end a lot of times. So, you know, we we like obviously Goddard if if we stack the Eagles again this week or if we play Mark Andrews. Um mm-hmm. Hawkinson, I think, is gonna be you you said over owned, right? Like he'll be really crazy high. No, I actually think he's just gonna be really high owned. I said Trey McBride is gonna be like right now he's projecting to look the second high stone tight oh, end. Yeah. And like he's at the same price as these Ferguson. And I like I like him. It's just you put him against the best defense in the NFL with a guy who we don't even know who's starting a quarterback yet. Like, I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> this I, seems a little shaky. I, I'm kind of off maybe that one as well a little bit. Um, 
It's a really interesting tight end week this week. Musgrave's a guy I keep playing, 3,300. Higby's price is down. Um, yeah. but I know he's got they got some issues there for the Rams going now, but um, you know, Pitts Pitts a guy we like in the dome game again. You know, we don't know the quarterback situation. Heineke's supposed to start, you know, what's going on with the Ritter, we don't know. But he Pitts was getting a lot of work there for a while. A couple of weeks he did score a touchdown. Yeah. 4100 that's a good price on a week. Kind of a, a week slate at each position this week, guys. You're really going to have to probably get the touchdowns. It could be a low-scoring week this week for Maybe. points. So if you can get the right stack, the right the right player combinations, and some of these guys that are really low-owned, you'll probably be you know, in good shape this week. So I, I kind of like some of these targets that are a little bit lower on this week as well. Yeah, I think the Pitts is a good call, um, one that I definitely will, def definitely will consider using some. And he and Drake London, I think, are both interesting plays in their price. And – I think that they're in better shape as plays individually, not in a stack, but like if Ritter is out, yeah. um, he's having trouble throwing the ball and Heineke can throw the ball better than he can right now. Um, I'm not saying it'll always be that way. Just, that's what it is right now. <laughs> but, uh, and, and just, just for those of you out there who are looking for super cheap, uh, you could take the flyer on Mike Isecki and you could take the flyer on Hayden Hurst if he plays, even, even Musgrave too, but those guys are in the two Ks that uh, just oh, want yeah. to guys out there I, I don't have them right now but i'm just considering them you can mention your new guy michael meyer or michael meyer's here babe. Bobby. oh my god yeah the problem is he let me down on halloween if, my, if i can't get michael myers to show up on halloween what the hell's happening <laughs> i What's just said that on? too i didn't realize michael meyer i never said that like that before i was like oh michael myers is halloween. It is michael, and it's his michael meyer's birthday and then the, it, so i had to play the myers and the myers and myers stack i played the jacoby and michael meyer and didn't didn't get me anywhere, but terrible, I've, right? I've certainly played worse name narratives in the past, although can't get much worse, I guess. Yeah. Um, all right. I, I actually like some defenses this week um quite a bit. I really like the Giants at the Raiders, um, as the cheapest one, 2300. Ooh, yeah. I understand that I like the Raiders players, so the Giants defense is not saying it's good. I mean, they should look great against Zach Wilson. Um, but it's the Raiders with O'Connell as the back, you know, backup. Just too much opportunity for at 2300 for them. Um, people are going to like the Packers. I don't necessarily see it as much, although Stafford will throw things away. I, I don't know where Stafford's health is going to be at for this weekend, so I want to really wait to see how 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 he, they say he looks and how the thumb feels. Um, I, for what it's worth, I love the Rams to win that. No offense, sorry, Rody, it's our guys facing each other, but I love the Rams to win in Green Bay this week. I love it. I cannot believe Green Bay is a three point favorite over the Rams. I honestly can't. Um, I think the Rams are a significantly better team, uh, whether they show up or not. We'll see. They had a bad a bad quarter against Dallas, and that literally is going to be why why they're an underdog. They've been like they, right there with the Eagles. They've been right there with everybody. Yeah, right? I I have liked them. Um, they stopped throwing the cup lately. The, the the last couple of games, Cooper Cup hasn't been involved. As my much. buddy who doesn't even bet on sports and who didn't even ask my opinion, just and he doesn't have like loads of money. He just bet three thousand on the Rams to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, bro. I, I don't know if I I don't know if I can go that far. Anyway, I actually do like the Rams defense. I was going to say I like the Rams side of it better than the Packers side. The Patriots are going to be really popular, but I think it makes sense against Washington because there's opportunities for turnovers. Atlanta against Minnesota at 3,700 if you can afford it, but I don't see why you need to. So I, I just would stay in that under 3K range. I actually think Minnesota at Atlanta is just as good a play as Atlanta is, and Atlanta's looking like the highest owned offense on the slate. Uh, I, I think they're both equally good plays and uh, probably guys I'm going to avoid because I'm going to stick with my Patriots. I'm going to stick with the uh, the Giants. I'm going to stick with the Rams. Uh, I'm going to, I'll probably throw in just because I'm going to have so much Baltimore and Seattle. I'll probably throw in some Seattle stacks. Uh, they're going to be actually fairly owned at 2,400, but probably not anymore. Not with the, not with the the news of Garoppolo out and everything official. I don't know. Um, and then my one last one that's low, that's cheap is I'll take a, I'll take a stab or two with the bears just because there's all those 2,500, you know, all those defenses are lower than 2,500 that I mentioned. But if, if I can get one, you know, a, a reasonably bad performance out of Derek Carr, which we always we see fairly often anyway, um, maybe maybe at like half a percent of ownership versus ten percent ownership, they would be an interesting one. So I'm I'm keeping it under three K this week for the most part, unless like you said, we have all this money to spend because we've got all these cheap plays. What yeah, do you think? yeah, yeah. I mean, you mentioned all the good ones. I don't even have to talk. Luckily, Sorry, bro. I mean, I'm not always going to mention the ones I like. Yeah, no, no, no. It's good. It's good. It's uh, luckily we're running out of time here. We got nine minutes on the Zoom here, so I don't have the premium or whatever. They only give me so much time. Um, so yeah, the, I definitely, you know me, guys. I'm playing these same cheap ones that Bobby mentioned. Um, you know, we got hell. Where'd they go? Giants is chalk, but I mean, twenty three hundred is great. I, I hang out with the twenty four, twenty three hundred, twenty five hundred with the Bears, even. 
I like that range. Um, even 2,600 with the Rams defense against Love. You know, Love's not looked great. It's probably colder up in Green Bay a little bit. You know, people dropping balls, fumbling a little bit. And so mm-hmm. not not even a bad option to get different in that price range. And then, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna probably keep it under there unless I want to spend on any of these other ones. Browns, are the, you know, are a very good defense, I think, and they're going to be lower on. So if you got a little money, maybe them. But most likely I spend down because I load up my roster every week. And I'm going to do the same thing this week. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so I've got, um, you know, with, with, with that, I'm going to jump into the stacks before, you know, we get out of here. I'm just going to say, I, so I, I like the Dallas Philly game. I like the Baltimore Seattle game. Uh, those are my favorites. I think Tampa Bay Houston is one I can, I can definitely talk myself into. Uh, we talked about that a little bit, that Houston game. And uh, I like Atlanta, Minnesota for pieces because everybody's cheap and no one's going to play it because they don't understand. They're, they're worried about the quarterback situation. I just like the pieces and I like the fact that both defenses suck. Um, I also like the Indy Carolina game as a potential sneaky one for me. So that, that's where I'm at for this week. Those are my five games. The three ones though, that are the main ones are the Dallas Philly, Baltimore, Seattle, and then Tampa Houston. Yeah. I like that. I like the Houston, um, like Baltimore. Um, I like this Atlanta game dome thing. The other Carolina Colts game. I don't mind some pieces in that. Um, like Jonathan T- running backs, mostly like Chuba and Jonathan Taylor. Um, the Vegas game, I like stacking them. I guess I should have said stacks. I started talking about players again. Saints a little right, bit. Right. Um, in the dome game there, DJ more run back, you know. So, you know, just some pieces in these other games, but may- most of the stacks probably be in some of these dome games with, you know, pieces of these other games that we like. So, and then yeah, obviously I'm probably gonna have some. Uh, that Eagles Dallas games. I just don't know how I want to stack it up. Yeah, I, I like the game though. Yeah. Um and uh for what it's worth, like you know, again, I don't I don't always have to do it. And I, and I I'll say what wait till Sunday usually, but because of the ownership, I'm just gonna go out and say that I think Mark Andrews will be on the winning lineup, the millionaire winning lineup. I'll just throw that out there. Whether whether it's with Lamar or not, uh that low ownership on the best tight end on the slate is just a little bit, a little bit weird to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that as my it's not even a crazy bold take it's not as crazy as they've been but it's it's a bit yeah, boldish right? That's good yeah. You got I'll a guy you like or anything you want to say before you take us out of here? Oh man, I didn't have a hot take this week really. Okay, it's uh, fine. We can we can yeah. I'll, I'll bug you again about it on a uh, Sunday morning. <laughs> so work on the hot take, but maybe for now we'll go with another tight end. We'll go with Dallas Goddard this week as a, as my as my tight end. Um, forty eight hundred, a little bit cheaper, easier to fit in. Like it's, it. a, it's an odd tight end slate this week. I mean, there's some big names there, but a lot of new quarterbacks and stuff going on. So I'm going to take Goddard um, a little bit cheaper than Andrews, but I, I like both those tight ends as my some of my favorite tight ends this week on a slate where these guys are, remember, these get two are elite tight ends. Andrews and Goddard get a lot of work. These other guys, you're just hoping for a touchdown, basically. So we're, we're actually, there's place for Goddard. There's place for Andrews in the game, you know, so. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely look for those tight ends to get the most catches and targets in the game. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think double tight end could actually do it because you could play like a, either of those guys oh, with, yeah. with Hawkinson, and I think it makes some sense. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, Brody, take us out of here. Yeah, sorry guys, might be a, it's not even that short of a video because we're running out of time. So, um, as always, guys, check us on Sunday. We'll uh, be answering all your questions, um, injury news. Um, so yeah, so follow along. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on Sunday. And as always, good luck and let's get it.